EU. I'm just uh, working on the microchipping exercise at the moment. Um, just to give you a hand, um, you may have had troubles, you may not. Um, so anyway, we'll get started. So it's pixels, it's A20 by A20 and enter. So that is the size that I'm dealing with, okay? Um, I can control R and that will bring up my rulers if I wish, but I don't may not need them. So um, control R anyway is how you bring up your rulers. Control R will make them disappear. Control R, uh, bring them up. Now, what I usually do um, if I'm trying to replicate something doesn't normally happen very much, but um, it's a good idea to file and place file and place the image that I'm trying to recreate on my screen. So click once and it's there beside me and it's outside of the artboard so it won't cause any hassle. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the doggies um, and the reason being is because I want to use the color, <clears throat> excuse me, in the background. So I go file, place, okay, and there's the doggies. Then click once. Okay, so it's it's really big, so I'm going to zoom right out, control minus, right, and I'm going to hold the shift key, which is underneath your, your uh, caps lock, and I'm going to drag. So that makes sure that I'm staying in proportion. Okay, and um, actually, you'll notice here, for some reason, I mirrored this image uh, back at the beginning. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to right click transform and reflect right click transform and reflect um, obviously at the time I thought it was a good idea so you can um, choose horizontal vertical if I do horizontal that's what I'll get or vertical that's what I'll get and I have a preview on so that's why I can see what, what I'm doing here because I have the preview on press ok ok so I'm not really sure how big or small it will be sorry that's you guys because I've just sent you your brief okay um yeah so now the next thing i want to do is i want to create the background color okay so i'm going to create a rectangle well actually it's a square oh god that's a circle sorry apologies so if you can't find your rectangle it's just underneath your your circle you might have to hold down on the circle to find it and i'm going to click and drag okay and now i'm going to move it out of the way because i want to copy the properties from here so it's there, it's in white. In your case, it might be a black line with no fill, you know what I mean? So I have it selected and I'm going to get my eyedropper tool, which is right just here. I is the quick way of doing it, letter I. And I have this square selected and now I click once and it's going to take that color from the background of the doggies. Okay, now it's, it's on top. I need to present it to the back. So there's a few ways I can do that. I can right click, arrange, sent back or I can object, arrange, sent back. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll place in the two logos first. So file, place, okay, and um, yes, I need to find the folder that I was working on with you guys. Sorry now, one moment. And there we go, sorry now about this microchipping okay so there's the logo and that logo so I've hold, hold, held the shift key so that I can select two options and place okay and you'll see that they're kind of here on my mouse so I just click once and then click once okay and um, okay so this one is on top here and I'm going to click and drag I'm holding the shift key so that it stays in proportion and this one is down here further and I'm going to click and drag so they're kind of the same width ish okay so the next thing that I want to do is I want to put in the word I'm going to put in the word microchipping first so I can't remember what fonts I used for this because I don't have the AI file anymore I only have a, a JPEG file which doesn't allow me um, so I'm just going to have to try and wing it. So M-I-C-R-O-C-H-I-P-P-I-N-G. Okay. And I think this one might be pretty similar. Um, so DA font is pretty good for downloading files. 
Um, so as you can see, this font kind of works okay, but the letters are too close together. So to change the distance between your letters, you'll just come up here to your character panel, or else you'll go to window, window, type and character, or else you'll come up here to character. And you'll see the one here, it's called tracking, okay? And you could put in a free number, if you wish. By free, I mean you're not limited. Here you're limited to like multiples of 25. I think I'll just go with 50 there. Okay, and I like this because there's no like dots on the top of the eyes, so I can make little paws. Okay, um, and I'm going to make it brown. So to make it brown, I go to the top of the screen. This is my fill and this is my stroke. Okay, so I'm going to kind of make it a, a dark brown. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, and um, yeah, I should have mentioned it's a good idea probably to lock the background and the dogs. So how do you lock them? So you select one, go to object, lock, selection. Select the other, object, lock, selection. Okay. Now, that means that if I'm trying to move this, I'm only going to select this. I'm not going to select like, you know, the background. So I'm going to find the word free, F or or I'm on caps. Okay. And I think one of these fonts might be okay. Um, let me see. Try that one. Yeah, that one will do. Um, as I said, I can't really remember. So I kind of want to place this here. Okay. Now, oh, there's another one that I could try. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, actually, it's worth noting, um, my tracking is still at 50, so I want to bring that to zero because it's just left it there by default. Actually, I think I'll use that one. I like that one. And I'm going to take the color from here. So I have this selected, and again, I go to my eyedropper tool and then click here. Just make sure that's always selected. Okay, now sometimes I do what you call like an offset. Okay, so if you look here at the word free, it's not that it's outlined, it's actually the word free is there twice once in black and once in green. Um, so it's kind of added like a three dimensional 